Welcome to Game & Read with Aaron and Peter. This is an update video. We wanted to let you know what our next theme for our game and book pairing is, and we were going to update you on what we're reading and playing. Yes, so our next theme is going to be Teens with Special <laughs> Powers. And that, that sounds like we're about to, you know, read X-Men or whatever. Not. It's actually <laughs> a little bit different. We are going to be playing Psychonauts by uh, Tim Schafer's Double Fine Studios. Came out for the PS2 Xbox era back in 2005. And then we'll also be reading The Magicians by Lev Grossman. And yeah, we're going to pair those two together as they both deal with people with special abilities, specifically younger people, and, you know dealing with those special abilities. Look forward to seeing that next Friday. Uh, we will have that video posted and yeah, it's our second video, yay! Tell your friends! <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna update you on what we've been reading and playing over the last couple of weeks. I just finished Living Proof by Kira Peacock. Uh, it was interesting, um, it's a kind of futuristic, but it only takes place I think in 2027, so not that futuristic. Um, I didn't love it. Um, I think I gave it two out of five stars on Goodreads. I do have a review on Goodreads if you're interested in what I thought about that book. Um, you can check it out. We'll have the link to the, my Goodreads um, down below in the, the description. description. Um, so I just finished that and then I am currently in the middle of American Gods by Neil Gaiman. I commute to and from school. I'm a graduate student and my Commute is about an hour and a half train ride, one way, twice a week. So I have lots of reading time. So I am reading American Gods, um, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm probably just under halfway through as of my commute back yesterday. So I look forward to continuing that book. That's definitely a good one. I uh, I listened to it. I listened to it on audiobook in like their 10th anniversary super edition. I really liked it. So that's definitely something I'd recommend. Give it you know, a four or five overall. Excellent. So what are you playing? Yes, what I'm playing right now, I just picked up this weekend the Chippy Robo <laughs> Ziplash so game. So cute! Um, for the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, it came, I got the Amiibo pack because it was a chance to get an adorable Amiibo. Um, and now I'm realizing Nintendo may have schooled me a little bit on how they can just throw in an Amiibo and make me want it more because the game while it's, it's fun for the most part, is a little underwhelming. Um, you know, it's another Nintendo side-to-side -side platformer. Uh, so it's very much like, you know, Mario style. Uh, you're running around with this little plug and you're using it to zip line on things. And overall, I give it about a three stars. There are some points where I just feel like, wow, this wasn't super well designed. Um, there are some levels that seem kind of repetitive, among other things, and it's overall just kind of short. Uh, so I don't know if it's worth as much as $30 for just the game, or, you know, $40 if you got the game with the Amiibo right now. If you really like side to side things, or if you have a weird affinity for Chibi Robo, go ahead and get it. It's a fun game. You'll have a good time, I'm sure, but it's not, you know, a groundbreaking game by any means. But it is adorable. It is adorable. Uh, adorable. And then I'm also, I picked up a Game Boy camera for the first time recently. Uh, I've always wanted one since I was six when it came out in 1998. And I got it because there's this new device coming out called the BitBoy, which will finally allow you to directly turn Game Boy camera photos onto an SD card. So I ordered one of those, I ordered a Game Boy camera, and I've been enjoying trying to take semi-decent photos in the worst possible resolution <laughs> there's ever been on a camera and seeing if I can make, you know, halfway <laughs> decent pictures that way. So check, check out his Instagram, because yeah. he'll have some on his Instagram. The Big Boy has been shipped, it finally <laughs> came out. They were only doing a batch of like 100, so I was like, I need it now, I need to buy it. Um, so yeah, once I get that in, I will be posting a lot of Game Boy photos on Instagram. And then finally, I am reading, as I mentioned before, The Magicians. I don't have Aaron's wherewithal to read multiple books at once, so I'm reading this one. I'm not very far yet, but I will have it finished sometime next week for our next video. And so today we also have a special thing going on. Aaron? I'm going to talk a little bit about Dewey's 24-hour readathon. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, that's okay, because I just found out about it last week. 
Um, but Dewey's 24-hour readathon happens twice a year. It's in honor of this woman, a, a book blogger. Her name was Dewey. She started it, I think, in 2007. Um, and what it is, is basically it's one 24-hour period in which people, hundreds of people, all over the world are reading. They've committed to reading during those 24 hours. Um, people are really active on Twitter, on blogs, they update, there are many challenges, you can win hourly door prizes. I mean, it's just this huge readathon community. So it was started by this woman, Dewey, um, and she unfortunately died, I think, in 2008. So they continue to do this readathon, one, because it's really fun, and two, in her honor, to honor her and her love of books. So I am gonna be doing it for the first time. Like I said, I just found out about it last week, um, and I'm gonna do it. It's this Saturday, <laughs> October 17th. Um, for me, we are in Chicagoland, so we're in the central time zone in the U.S., and so our 24 hours is from 7 a.m. on Saturday morning through 7 a.m. Sunday morning. Um, I won't be able to do all 24 hours <laughs> because I have to be awake for things on Sunday, and also I suck at staying up late. I'm really bad at it. I go to bed at a reasonable hour <laughs> for an adult. Um, so... I won't be doing the full 24 hours, but I am going to try and do as much reading as possible. I'm really excited. Um, there is still time for you to sign up. It's free. Like, it's free, and you sign up, and you um, can get a cheerleader. Like, someone's going to come onto your Twitter and encourage you to read if you sign up. I think the deadline for that is today. So go sign up. Um, it's really fun. Um, I hope it's really fun. I guess I don't actually know yet. I mean, it's reading. So but it's, it's reading, and I reading. love reading. So I'm trying to be really productive this week with schoolwork so that I can really just focus Saturday as a reading day. Um, yeah. I am. I do have a couple books I already picked out that I want to try and read. Um, the first one is Karen Russell's St. Lucy's Home for Girls Raised by Wolves. It's a short story collection, and I've heard really fantastic things about this book. Um, I don't love short stories, but I've heard good things about the book, and why not make this 24-hour readathon, in which I'm trying to read for a really long time, a first time to start short stories. So I'll be trying, I'm going to read this. Um, the other thing, I, another thing I hope to read is Fight Club. I've never seen the movie, never read the book, but it's Fight Club. No spoilers. I have no spoilers because I don't know what. I, I mean, I know the number one rule of Fight Club is to not talk about Fight Club. Oh man, that just ruined it. So <laughs> uh, it's a pretty short book. It's by yeah, oh, it's by Chuck, Chuck Pal. Palinuk. Palinuk. I believe it's how you pronounce Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> um, so it's a pretty short book. So I'm hoping to get through this one. And then the third one I have picked out so far is Trillium by Jeff Lemire. No, you have this way. This way. Yeah, that's the right way. <laughs> um, it's backwards on the back, um, or upside down on the back. So this is a graphic novel, um, and part of the reason I want to read this is one because it, I like Jeff Lemire's art. Animal Man. Uh, I read some of the Animal Man. Did you read any Sweet Tooth? And I read Sweet Tooth, that's yeah. right. And it's really phenomenal. I think the art style is really cool. But um, this is also possibly a future book for our pairings. I haven't read it yet, even though Neither of us have copy. read it. It's Peter's <laughs> copy. So I'm going to read it during this readathon and check it out. Um, I'm also going to the library tomorrow to pick out more books to add to my Hold hopeful on. read pile. I'm going to make a prediction. You make it through three and a half books. Three and a half. I up it to four. Okay, fair enough. We'll yeah. see. Anyway, if you want to stay updated on how I'm doing on my readathon, you can go on my Twitter, uh, which is at eMerch, or I'll be posting updates on gameandread.com. Yep, I might fool her into, you know, taping her while and she's maybe reading. there'll it'll be, be really, it'll be videos. It'll be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and as a side thing, I'm going to be doing my own, just because she's going to be sitting around reading books all day, like, okay, I'll sit around and play games all day. <laughs> And read, and read The Magicians, because I have to read that. Um, so I'm going to be having my game and read. A thon. My, game and read a thon. <laughs> and I plan on playing, because I haven't gotten around to it yet, uh, Pikmin 3, which I've had for my Wii U for a long time. Haven't played it at all for no reason yet, so I'm looking forward to doing that and then reading The Magicians. 
So to stay updated on both of our progress on our athons, um, <laughs> keep an eye on our blog on GaveAndRead.com and check us both out on Twitter. Uh, and if you are going to participate... Oh yeah, Twitter. Hold on. At eMerch. At eMerch. At Nerd in the World. At Nerd in the World. GaveAndRead.com. GaveAndRead.com. <laughs> you got to plug it. Like Chibi Robo. <laughs> um, <laughs> so if you are going to do the readathon, if you're... Or if you want to join Peter in his unofficial game and readathon, let us know, uh, and we'd love to see what you are reading and playing this weekend too. Cool. Until next time, happy gaming and reading. Thanks for watching. <laughs>